guys. Welcome back to Raise Trains. Well, it's midweek. Uh, kind of been, I don't know, it feels like I've been slacking on the video, so I wanted to put one up. Um, so, first announcement is live stream. This Friday, let's say 7 o'clock Eastern. Um, I had so much fun with my friends on our new podcast, Three Rails, Four Dads. Um, that I wanted to, I want to do one on my channel. I've only done one and it was a while ago. I think it was in the summer and that's, that's no good. So, <laughs> so Friday at seven Eastern, join me. And that's where we'll do like the layout update. I figure I can show you guys around here and show you what I did, but I will also do a giveaway. I'll do two giveaways. Um, I'm going to steal, we'll do it how, I don't know if you saw Eric's trains did like a, was it New Year's Day, I think, or New Year's Eve, he did a live stream and it was, it was fun and it was just chaos in the, <laughs> in the chat. He basically said a question and first person who typed it in the chat won it and I liked the chaos of that. So we'll do it that way and I'll get, I'll do two of them. Uh, I got two overstamped box cars that I'll show you. This Redding and Conrail one, we'll give that away. And then I've got a Penn Central New Haven, and I'll give that one away. So yeah, it'll be about my layout, about my trains. So study up if you want if you want to win these two things. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it just first person to type it out will win. And my buddy Art uh, is doing a live stream, or sorry, excuse me, my buddy Art is doing a giveaway right now on his channel. Uh, so go watch Art's video. Um, and you kind of got to do your research and type it out in the comments. I hope I won. We'll see. I already wrote mine out, but I think uh, that was fun. So go watch Art's video. And uh, yeah, so Friday at 7 Eastern, we'll join me and we'll have fun. And now we'll get to just quickly kind of a leftover uh, thing that happened this summer that I want to talk about. All right, this will be quick because there's not a whole lot to say here, but I wanted to mention it since I took a video, but it was this, I think it was August and I was watching Chris and trains and things as we, as we do. <laughs> and he did a hobby shop hop uh, that was Fairly local to me, fairly. And it was English's Model Railroad Supply. And I never even heard of it. It's in Montoursville, Pennsylvania. I think it was about an hour and 45 minute drive for me. And Chris is walking around the, the store as he does such a great job uh, doing and showing stuff off. And he pointed out a Atlas O 50 foot Gunderson high cube box car, the pink one, here it is, the track on track for a cure. And I've been looking for this and the yellow one. You guys know they're impossible to find even on eBay. There aren't even any yellow ones right now. There are finally some more pink ones. They're like selling for $135. <laughs> So, uh, Chris grabbed this box and I think the sticker's still on here. Oh yeah. $71. And he actually left it behind, which I was, I was shocked at. I think he said in the video, he wanted to leave it for someone else. And when I saw that, I was like, I kind of Googled where English's model railroad supply was. It was fairly under two hours for me. So I said, I'm, I'm going. And then my buddy Dell also, he saw the video too. And he went and I had texted him about it. And he's like, I, I already went. He goes, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, the box car was still there. He's like, if you had, if we had talked earlier, I would have just got it for you. So that was funny. So, uh, of course the next day I went and thankfully it was still there. And I paid the low, low price of $71, which is 
you'll never see these for that ever again. But, uh, so yeah, let me show that off quick. I'm not really going to run it. You guys have seen me run this for a while. Uh, I won't get even close-ups of it, but the usual amazing Atlas rolling stock when all the pieces are hanging on correctly. <laughs> but it looks awesome. Heavy, good detail underneath as usual. Love these. So yeah, I'm... <laughs> I pre-ordered more of these from Train World um, because they're so awesome. <laughs> some yellow ones and some different ones. But what I wanted to say was, this is the saddest part of the whole story. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> literally, it, it was like two days or three days after I went, my wife texted me. I don't know if she saw it. Someone gave her an article at her work and she's like, wait, isn't, weren't you just here? And it said, English's model railroad supply is closing. <laughs> closing after, I think it said they were in business for 77 years and they were at that location that I went to for like 50, 57 years. I think those, that, those numbers are right. So how, how horrible is that? Literally two days after I went, they closed, which is sad. Anytime we don't want any stores in our hobby closing. I'm sure we all agree with that, but I was like, unbelievable that I went. Obviously I didn't save them with my one box car purchase, but so I can't even tell you to go there because they're closed. But yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard of English's before tell me in the comments if you'd ever been there they were super nice to me prices were awesome and i even saw uh, someone in there who recognized me which was crazy <laughs> so yeah like i said i'm not gonna run it you guys have seen this before but oh i will put in footage at the end of this video of me just walking around i think i took like a minute video of me in there so i'll put it at the end uh so you guys can see that but yeah that's going to do it. Uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And join me at 7 o'clock Eastern uh, on Friday. And we'll do we'll do a live stream and a giveaway and have, have kind of a hangout. So, all right. Thanks, guys. See you later.